is up, everybody? Actually, it's just one of you, but whoever you are, appreciate you watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know who you are. Um, I did just create this post about 10 or 15 minutes ago, letting you know that I would be going live. Looks like we've got two people in here. How's he, how are you guys doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm going to try and not make this too long of a stream, and I'm just going to hop on Instagram here. Um, go live there as well. Try and drive some traffic if we can. Um, so bear with me for one moment. Got um, just a couple things to talk about this evening. Ryan, son of a fisherman. Thought that was probably you, dude. Uh, hope you're having a good night. So I am drinking little Oscar Blues Pinner IPA. Uh, they call it a throwback IPA. Hope you guys are having a great night yourselves. Um, as I said, there's just a couple things I want to talk about. For those of you watching on YouTube and not on Instagram, if you haven't already, Smackin' Bass, what's up? YKMZ666, what's up? First viewer, Hernandez Shreds. Dude, Shredder, you a skier, a snowboarder? Um, Oscar Blues, Dale Pale. Yeah, Dale's Pale Ale is uh, legit, definitely a go-to. Have you ever tried the Pinner Throwback IPA? Cheers to you guys. Thank you for joining. And for watching on this Friday night, my wife is working tonight. And my daughters are sleeping, so I am tinkering with tackle. And I've got one little leftover box to unbox uh, from the last video that I made. These, there's three lures in here. These are the ones that were back ordered from Tackle Warehouse over the 25 days of Christmas sale. So I think we'll probably start with that and then just talk quickly about the giveaway items that um, that I'm giving away for this month. Actually, let's just talk about that because I want to apologize for the fact that I've, I've not been consistent in uh, posting the information on both Instagram and YouTube for these giveaways that I'm doing. Um, you know, a big deal is that I'm, I'm doing one giveaway every month. Um, especially now that I've partnered with Discount Tackle and I'm bringing in more tackle than I need for sure. I'm trying to show you guys as much as possible. Also just want to give back. So a couple of my favorite brands, Kytec, I'm giving away. I've got three crazy flapper, one in each size. So the 4.4 is the big mama. And this is a uh, black and blue no flake in it it's called saturday night special um and it is pretty rad four four is really so big that all you're gonna do is use it to flip with maybe put it on a swing head uh or a tokyo rig if you're just gonna flip it but um it's not gonna be a trailer like the three six i've given away one in the green pumpkin watermelon color this one's actually really rad um, just like you'd think, green pumpkin with black flake um, on one side, watermelon on the belly, and this one is a perfect all-around size where you can kind of do anything with it. Put it on a Texas rig, a jig trailer, chatterbait trailer, whatever you want. It's got awesome action, classic, great scent from Kytec. And the last one is the 2.8. This is in, in the electric June bug color. Really, really cool color. Uh, classic June bug on top blue, um, brighter blue flake on bottom. So let me answer a couple of questions here from Instagram that I know I already missed. Brian's fishing. What's up, dude? Um, Smacking bass. Need to win that giveaway. Well, I hope you win it. I, I see that you've tagged a shite ton of people. Um, over the last week, and I appreciate you doing that, driving some traffic, helping 
to build the community. Hernandez Shreds, his discount tackle on Santa Fe. Um, oh, are you local here, man? I didn't see um, if you said that you're a shredder. Hella. <laughs> Does that mean you're a, a big shredder? Are you a skier or a boarder? Now, if you are and you're referring to Discount Tackle, uh, the local shop here in Denver, it is not that. Uh, they are a, an online retailer out of the Midwest, and they are about to open a retail store. But no, it's not here in Colorado. It is uh, in the Midwest. Huh? I should know where they're based. I want to say in Michigan or somewhere like that. Do you want to go live? Let's. Uh, See if I can get you live. So, next brand, few packs that are in the giveaway. Dude, what's up? Can't hear you, man. You're just waving. Are you in bed or something? <laughs> hold on, bro. Hold on. All right. My I see. I'm going to keep talking since I'm on YouTube as well, man. We can talk about Denver in a second. So, next three packs of baits that are in the giveaway are by Z Man, which is arguably one of my favorite brands of lures, period. I love elastic, soft plastics, their durability and versatility. So, um, these are all smaller baits. We've got one swim bait in here. This is the three inch minnows in the purple death color. It's a purple and chartreuse with some flake in there. Got one in the TRD bugs in green pumpkin. This is gonna be an absolute killer this year. Um, I've mentioned before and I'll say it again, I think it's gonna be more of a favorite of mine than the TRD cross, which um, everybody loves, obviously. Last one is the TRD ticklers in the June bug color. So, giving away three packs of the Z-Man Elastec baits. Dude, what's going on here? You got your headphones on or what? Hell yeah. I see you in the dark, bro. Talk to me. Where do you live in Denver? Yeah. Denver, Colorado, bro. What part of town are you in? Uh, Inglewood. Inglewood. All right. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm in Parker. Grew up in Centennial. Um, where'd you go to high school? Or do you go to high school? How old are you, man? Uh, 18. Oh, fuck, dude. I just need my headphones. That hurt my ears so much. Oh, yeah, I go to, like, uh, well, I went to JFK. Do right you know on. where that is? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I went to this, that high school, but now I don't go anymore. I feel you. Yeah. Just chilling, bro, watching you with my dough, you know? Right on, dude. <laughs> All right. Hello. Well, yeah, it's not, Discount Tackle is not local, as I said. Uh, they're an online retailer. Their deal is that you save 20% off on baits that you buy from them specifically. And uh, yeah. it's a great deal. So I started partnering with them just a few months ago and uh, trying to, help drive some traffic their way they're growing pretty quickly and uh you know i'm, I'm all about deals you know I, I bought from them almost once a month last year so uh it works out well for both of us so I'm just gonna finish up the info on this giveaway real quick and let everybody know to quickly enter if they haven't already got two packs of beast coast swim baits one of the miyagi swimmer this in the generic shad color the Miyagi Swimmer is a 4.75 inch uh, mechanically hand poured swim bait. Very realistic looking. Uh, perfect on a, a 6 aught owner beast hook. Also, the 3.65 inch Chaos X Shad. Um, this is recently discontinued. Not sure why, but uh, it's a rad little swim bait. Perfect on a swim jig. Um, or just for finesse swim baiting would go good on the back of a uh, spinner bait, chatter bait, whatever you like to use smaller swim baits on. Um, you know, it's that 3.8 inch 
size. So uh, last is the 4.8 inch high tech swing impact fat. This in a cool green pumpkin fire color, green pumpkin top and a uh, orange belly. So that's gonna be rad here in, uh, in the springtime. Now all nine of these packs are up for grabs because Instagram I hit 5K followers, you know, a week or two ago. And uh, just want to give back, give a little bit more in this month's giveaway compared to normal. So that giveaway ends tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. here Mountain Standard Time. So to those of you watching on YouTube or on Instagram, uh, there's only 12 of you total right now watching. But um, if you're watching and haven't entered, hop on Instagram and find me there. Go check out my post um, that looks just like the screenshot of this live YouTube video. Uh, it's from about 10 days ago, and uh, it's very obvious. It says 5K giveaway all over it. And uh, like the post, make sure you're following me on Instagram and tag two people in the comments. All right, let's talk for a minute, Hernandez, before I kick you out of here so I can see a little bit better. Um, where, uh, where do you fish, man? I live in Inglewood. Where do you like to fish right now? Uh, what's it called? The uh, Chatfield Reservoir? Yeah, dude. I think. You fish the, yeah, the reservoir so. or do you fish the ponds? Yeah, I fish the plant, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. For the giant carp. Yeah, dude. They're, those things are massive. Um, and they're everywhere in the plat. You know, it's crazy how popular the fly fishing for trout has become on the South Platte in the Denver area, especially up closer to, uh, you know, downtown Littleton and downtown Denver. There's a few pockets there that are just absurdly popular, but, um, but it's good fishing and you know, it's urban. So, uh, Chatfield is legit. So is, uh, Aurora. I know that's a little further for you, but, um, yeah. but they've got awesome clear water, good smallie fishing. Um, uh, big ass trout that they stock there so um i plan to use a lot of bigger swim baits this year um yeah that's that's pretty big dude <laughs> uh this, this guy's just a river to see s waiver 168 i'll show you a couple others that i plan to throw to uh that i've just got sitting down here with me i've got a few more upstairs but the um the BBZ one six inch from Spro is going to be a Spro, sweet one. Say, right? I think it is. Yeah. And then uh, the new swim baits from Savage Gear, dude. These 4D line through pulse trout. This is a six inch. This guy is an eight inch. And check that out. It's got like this Huddleston style tail. Uh, wedge tail it's Looks got like jello. <laughs> super subtle action and uh cool thing about these is you can rig them line through and put um you can put the treble hook on top of the bait dude so um so you can rig it almost butch brown style instead of a, a typical line through that's going to be on bottom and um, yeah. and then you can run it on the bottom a little bit more safely. So I've got a bunch of rainbow trout swim baits that I plan to throw this year, specifically at Aurora. Um, and I've got some perch pattern that I'm going to throw at Chatfield and at Cherry Creek, just since they've got more perch in there. But um, but I like to do pond fishing too, man. That feels good with the Rapalas, the chicken ones. For sure. Do you ice fish at all, man? Did you say, did you fish at all? Or no, what? I asked if you ice fished at all. Yeah, I probably pond, but I have, like, uh, people call on me and. Oh, that's bogus. They think I'm going uh, to fall to the ice side. Yeah, people are scared, huh? Yeah, so I stopped that. I hear you. 
All right, man. Well, hit me up on Instagram. We should go fishing sometime this spring or summer. Um, yeah, man. Love to go together. I, yeah, uh, for sure, bro. That'd be pretty cool. All right, bro. Just to let you know, I, I fish usually either early morning for top water or uh, during the middle of the day, like during my lunch break. And I'm, I'm 32 yeah. years old. I'm working full time. So got to get out when I can. I rarely go out uh, all day, especially because I've got two young daughters. So if you want to fish sometime, love to meet up, uh, especially like the ponds near Chatfield um, early morning sometimes. So hit me up. All right, bro, for sure. All right, have a good night. Alright, uh, you should. Do I just click the X right to? Yeah, no, I'll click yeah. Peace, man. Alright, alright, bro. Alright, y'all. Let's get back to it. Ryan, if you're still in here, you do need to get an Instagram account. What are you doing, man? If anybody else wants to go live on Instagram, you can, but I am a little bit worried about how that's going to interfere with the. The live here on YouTube. Let's talk about the three baits in this tackle warehouse box that I've got to unbox. Um, I mentioned it last time, but I doubt any of you would remember, except maybe Ryan. Got two jerk baits and a swim bait. Just showed you one of the swim baits. And that is the Spro BBZ1 six inch. Battery died, now you're back. What up, CG? AZ Outdoors. Huddleston's your go to? Right on, man. Smacking bass, get on in here. Ryan, you're gonna work on it? It's not that much work. What's up, dude? What's up, man? How are you? Yourself. I'm doing very well. I'm Dipping them? Oh, sick. Yeah, and then I got the chartreuse, uh, the spiking. Yeah, man. I saw you doing that the other day. Um, I was yeah. going to leave a comment on that. I think it looks wicked, but isn't it messy? Opening that. No, actually, so you dip it and you put it right in the water and then mm -hmm. it doesn't like bleed anywhere. So it's pretty nice. What about when you're opening and closing it, though? Yeah, you got to be careful because it'll stay in your hands for like right. two or three days. Totally. <laughs> but they also have the pens. Yeah, no, I've got I've got a couple of the pens. Um, yeah. See, I need to get those. I couldn't find those. I just went to Bass Pro and picked up that, uh, the red one. Yeah, so. see, I got these black ones to do like some shad dots on, on yeah. some swim baits and then chartreuse for tails. But I didn't get the – you can get like a pack of, you know, all of them. I think those are pretty sick. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm still not huge on scent, but, um, but I know it's a, a real thing and I need to get more into you using a track. So you use a lot of like big swim baits and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Hey, grab this. Bass Dynasty. Yeah, dude. I've seen you dude, pack that in your swim bait box and stuff. Dude, this stuff will not come off. Like literally a month later, it's still on the swim baits and it still stinks. And really? I mean, it's pretty amazing. I pop them on these little things, like in the little inserts after I put the hook in. Sure. I pop just a little piece in there just so it gives a little bit of scent. Is that and this one right here? Yeah. So I you just found me too because I ordered the wrong ones. I ordered these big ones. Yeah, that that one. Oh no, that's the line through, huh? Uh, no, they're not a line through. It's weird. I actually destroyed one <laughs> messing around with it. Uh, it's this is what's inside of it. What? Yeah, that's what's inside. I holy hell, that's the the harness inside it. Yeah, yeah. So oh my God. I wish it was a line through though because those are dope. The guy just uses those all the time. Yeah, super neat. No, I like a line through, but honestly, it's hard to to justify. The value when you know you can turn a regular boom boom into a line through yeah. if you want, or you can rig it weedless. Um, you know, like this is on a this is actually a Trocar nine on, but um, oh, okay. but I do really like though, right? what's that? That's a huge swim bait though, right? Like the six seven inch. Yeah, this is the six inch. The uh, the baby, I don't have one rigged up right now, but you know, just 
Yeah, that's it's made to go on a six aught uh, beast hook, and um, so this one on right now. Yeah, so I'd put that on a six aught beast or a or a five aught uh, trocar swim blade, but um, just like an eight down. I like these beast hooks, dude. They're so thick. Yup. Guess that's why they call it beast hooks, right? For sure. <laughs> Yeah, I finally found these baby boots because, like I said, man, I ordered the wrong ones and I got it. And I'm like, so much I can't even. I mean, I guess I could have tried to catch something on these huge ones, but I don't do lake fishing. I go to like private ponds and stuff around Vegas, and that's where I that's where I fish. So I hear you. There's nothing too huge. I actually got into a uh, one of the best private lakes out here. I did a I'm a locksmith, and uh, I did a job for one of the guys that is a board member. And he said I can go fishing there, so I might hit that up this weekend. Right on. That's the way to do it, man. Get permission. I saw that you've got a work van. I was going to ask you what it is that you do for work, whether you're you know, some kind of locksmith. technician or locksmith. Right on, man. 15 years. Yeah. Hot damn. I know. I know. Good enough All to keep you in I the business, huh? Do you work My for yourself or do you work for somebody? I a place that I used to play pool with. And uh, yeah, I got a job from never, just never stop. Keeps food on the table, so absolutely. <laughs> but, uh, Seems like so you got some uh, flexibility. When is the end? It's coming up huh, tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, man. Eight a.m. Nice. here, so maybe seven a.m. your time, or are you on Mountain Time? Um, I'm in Vegas. I think a specific time. Okay. I think we're on the same. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna tag more people because you know i gotta get those 200 entries <laughs> at this rate you're you've got a good chance of winning i'll just say that Dude, it's the only way you win for I, sure i won a might as I well won a, uh, shimano maintainium from a giveaway no shit. shit out of people yeah what was that universal bassin or i mean who the hell else uh, gives away a maintainium dude? River. really river. right yeah, on it was, a, it was a while ago but yeah i mean just gotta keep on tagging. Me and my buddy Lewis that are out here, man, that's all of us. one of the big things that we do. But I mean, at the end of the day, we always give back too. Yeah. I'm about to do a. I'm about to do my own giveaway soon. I think I'm gonna do like 2,000. So I got a big swim bait that I'm gonna put in it, a reel, a couple jigs. I got a custom on this. Right on. Big old. Oh shit. Yeah. That looks it's legit. Got the trapper tackle hooks. Nice. Yeah, I noticed you're big on trapper tackle, huh? I haven't. Yeah, I was. Uh, I pro staffed for them before they went out, dude. And really? They gave me the opportunity. I stocked up on the shovel hooks. I, I bet. was out of them, but whatever. I think I'm going to switch to the um, either owner or katana. I like the katanas. They're pretty sick. Respect. Yeah, man. I'm I'm yeah. pretty exclusive to uh to owner and. Uh, Gamagatsu and also uh I guess mustad when it comes to triple grips, but uh it depends on the yeah. depends on the bait really. Um uh, so speaking of this this Spro BBZ one six inch comes with Gamagatsu stock hooks as all Spros do. And uh this blueback herring color is gnarly, super shiny. I mean Yeah, that's almost crazy. almost overkill on the tail, quite frankly, but uh, like it, it feels like it's gonna peel off before I even get bites, but um, but this thing was twelve bucks from Tackle Warehouse during their twenty five days of Christmas sale. It retails over twenty dollars. Um, oh, so it was like forty percent off. I was like, I've already got a couple of them. That you use What's that? that? Will help like that gives you credit for it and lets them know that you're sending people or no? At Tackle Warehouse? Yeah. No. And in fact, at, at Discount Tackle, I don't even have a an affiliate program or anything like that. They just, uh, they give me like an allowance once a month where I can go on and, and scoop up some baits. But um, but it's not even, you know, it's, it's 50 bucks a month. So um, it's a good deal. It works out for both of us, but I'm, I'm not making commissions, um, at least just yet. You know, they're and they'll send me some products. I'm about to do a review of a, uh, a Daiwa backpack. I don't know if you follow Gobi Bryant. Um, I think I saw something. Somebody tagged me. In his, he's doing a giveaway right now for that backpack. I don't know that he's giving away the backpack, but 
somebody tagged me on something, and I go Bryant sounds real familiar. Yeah, he's a smallmouth guy out of Michigan, and uh, he's he's got like ten thousand followers. He's got a pretty good deal. He's new to YouTube, but um, good guy, and uh, he's the other dude who's partnered up with Discount Taco right now. So they oh, just okay. sent us each this backpack through Daiwa, and uh, there will be little things like that that we'll start reviewing products kind of one by one for them in addition to picking up tackle there and uh, and just suggesting that people purchase from there. Because like I mentioned, you know, Kai Tech and Strike King and Z-Man are like three of my favorite brands of baits that, you, that I use in terms of soft plastics and you can get them cheaper there than you can on tackle warehouse uh, anytime. I mean, you'd have to wait for black Friday when to get 20% off the other times during the year, you're getting 15% off at best. Right. So um, you really get the best deals shopping at discount tackle. And so I'd go out of my way to buy certain things, especially when stocking up on Z man uh, last year, I'd go to Discount Tackle, like exclusively, and uh, and it was actually their idea starting the Brain Ambassador program. So yeah, pretty cool. I got deal. a buddy out here that uses those ticklers. Yeah, it fucking pisses me off because I'm using the regular elastics, mm -hmm. and he's using a tickler, and he's just like fucking landing on like crazy right next to me, and I'm just not even getting bit. So I, it's a pretty uh, cool bait. Man. Man to one, but yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm they giving seem, that away. Cool yeah, it's um. You know, it's it's literally like halfway between the TRD tubes and and the finesse TRD. So the TRD tubes is hollow, like you'd expect in a tube bait, um, except for the very head. So you can rig it on a, a standard net head, and that barb will grab the head pretty well. And it's got a bunch of tentacles, and it does really well. Stands up just like Elastec does. But the TRD Ticklers is a solid body. Um, yeah, it is not right. hollow, so it's a lot like the Finesse TRD. No, it's it's standard TRD size. It's 2.75 inches, dude. Oh, okay. So okay. It, it's actually smaller than the Finesse TRD because I think that 2.75 is including the, uh, the tentacles. And it's got just four tentacles on top. Um, I see take two fish you just got on. Do you care if I showed something that he made me? I don't care at all. Go for it. Yeah, so check this out. They're literally the same size, but the ticklers is including those tentacles. So yeah. it profile wise, it's smaller in the water than the even the finesse DRD. Ooh. That looks nice. Is that a Ned Rig bait or what? It's a it's Ned Rig. It stands up. It's so amazing. I haven't climbed on yet because the fishing is like really bad right now, but sure. That little orange kit, man. I uh, I put it on the Wu Tungsten quarter ounce net head. It looks really good in the water. But yeah, that's one of the most recent ones I have been making. So I saw that color pattern and I wasn't one for using the net until like probably four months ago. And then I started using it and insane it's almost controversial how how effective it is you know like do you do you uh do you watch david dudley on youtube no i don't Dude, i watch been... like tactical bass and i don't really watch too much fishing on youtube sure not much as i should probably for some reason in the last year like so many pro fishermen have started youtube channels and some of them are pretty good you know like yeah. Roland Martin, um, dude is old, but he's been making some really good yeah. content. Uh, I remember that from the TV, yeah. Jimmy yeah. Houston, also super old. He's created. He's doing different stuff. You know, he's actually like um, putting ministry type of stuff out there, um, as opposed to like beginner fisherman stuff. But David Dudley is. Um, He's talking about somewhat controversial topics, and he's telling stories about when he's won tournaments and stuff. And um, he talked about the Ned Rig recently where he was saying um, that he was trying to argue that the Ned Rig is killing more fish.
than pretty much any other rig just because they eat it so good. Um, right, right. And it's such a small profile that uh, that they take it deep, and as a result, yeah. more bass end up dying. But uh, and and I think there's some validity to that argument, quite frankly. But um, you know, it, it depends on when you detect the bite and how many fish you're actually catching. Like the the majority of us are only going out and fishing for a couple hours at a time, and it's the difference between getting bites or not right we're not we're not fishing mlf we're not fishing uh tournaments and trying to you know cycle through hundreds of fish to right. yeah. to cull yeah. up and uh you know obviously the net rig's not going to catch you big fish most of the time it's just going to get you bites it will catch you big fish sometimes but in general yeah. it's it's just to get bites uh ryan's right. over here on youtube saying you see the video that david dudley put out saying the trd represents a goose turd i did see that um i'm not sure that i agree with that quite frankly but um yeah, i no, think I that's always, funny i always try and set the hook early because i don't want them to swallow it so every time yeah. i just see the line start twitching i try and subconsciously think when the next time's coming in right. i do it so i miss a ton of fish on it but I've never had any swallow it, so yeah. it's one of those things I'd rather miss it than have them swallow it and then be, you know, for sure. a couple pound fish die off. So Yeah, yeah. It's not too fun to have to go in through the gills with uh, with your pliers and remove a hook. Right, right. But, but um, you have that tool that supposedly grabs the, the hook, and yep. I, I saw it on one of the little uh, sponsored things on Instagram. Mm -hmm. and it looked pretty neat, but... I don't know. I can't remember what the name of this tool is. For sure. Take two got a question. What's up, Take Two? What, what's your question, two, Take Two? Brian's Fishing also said, what do you think about the Ned swim bait? Uh, you're going to have to be more specific than that, dude. There's a lot of Ned baits out right now. Uh, I, mean, I recently saw the crawdad. That one's pretty neat. I mean, Z-Man makes... Well, the TRD Cross uh, has been out a while, and it's it's super legit. Um, but the reason that I say that I think the TRD bugs is uh, is going to be my favorite moving forward is not just that it's going to be rock solid year round, um, especially in super cold water like a you know beaver style bait is, but yeah. The connection where the craw arms are to the body on the uh, TRD craws actually wears down quicker than you would think as you're using okay. the bait. And it um, sure. it almost wants yeah, to, yeah. to remove those yeah, claws. A lot more, uh, than, than the claws. Yeah, the they're connected. The bugs are connected a lot, um, a lot better, at least in my experience so far. It seems like they're going to hold up just a little bit longer than the cross but that said i mean elastic baits are going to hold up 10 times longer than you know a rage tail baby craw um you know or a baby rage menace like honestly i like them just fine like i've, I've got this whole box of finesse jig trailers and in it like i've what i'm giving away tomorrow the uh, Kai Tech Crazy Flapper and the 2.8 I really like on a, a finesse jig. Yeah. Same with the Berkeley Havoc Pit Boss uh, Junior size. Hey, too, I, I don't know about the swim baits on a net head. I like the swim baits just swimming out, but I'm a power fisherman. I'm not a fast. I just barely started finesse stuff. So, Ned I don't swim bait. I feel about the, the paddle tail on it. I mean, I'll probably try it, but I'm not. I'm not 100 sold on it. I'd rather reel it in really fast and get a bite than let it sit there. So you know, I I think you can fish it um, like you would a trap, um, you know, and just rip it up off the bottom. And I think it's going to be that much more effective than say a 2.8 inch Kitek or Rage Swimmer. Um, or a, or a three inch spark shad like I've got here. Um, I think certain Ned swim baits like the, shit, I don't have them right here on me, but, um, 
recently I got some of the three inch slim swims by Z Man. Um, they do have a paddle tail on them and they're made from a Laztec. And uh, those guys will stand up. So if what you're talking about is a Ned bait that has a paddle tail on it and will stand up, then absolutely throw it on. Uh, a Ned Rig jig head, a mushroom style head that'll allow it to stand up and dead stick it and then swim it and dead stick it and swim it and dead stick it, you know, rip it up off the bottom and let it go back down and let that tail just just wag like it's a feeding bait fish on bottom. Absolutely. I mean, I think a, a standard Ned Rig imitates a craw or a bait fish. Um, pretty well and so having a an actual tail on there is not a bad idea so swimming it is just fine you know i'm not going to swim a a turd style bait or a craw that's not going to flap effectively but i might swim something like the rage tail baby craw that actually has some pretty good action on it or that crazy flapper yeah man Something that's got good action on it, why not swim that thing? In my garage, that's how much garlic sets is in this. These things are amazing. So another one of the take twos gave me, he asked me if I wanted set. And I was like, sure, I'll try it. And I put one on a hook. I fished with it all day. I brought it. I put all my poles up in the garage. And the next day, I opened my garage cutter. I opened my door to the house and the garage come in. I smell nothing but garlic, dude. It is so insane. <laughs> <laughs> But, I respect that. Yeah, just uh, do you have any koi in your in your pond or the place that you fish out there? Or no. Some we've got more carp uh, than than koi. Oh, dude, you you got some of those custom painted koi, huh? Dude, that looks sick. So I had I had my buddy just paint. A bunch of koi stuff. I'm putting you on the YouTube video. And then I got the Whopper Plopper too. Dude, that's awesome. We have uh, in one of the ponds, man. These koi are massive. Yep. So I figured they have to have babies sooner or later. So I might as well throw them. Like I got square bill jerk baits, lipless, yep. bigger swim baits. So, worth a shot. Absolutely. I mean, I would think that they'll probably be a little bit more effective than, uh, or on a slow moving bait that's that's going to run a little bit lower in the water column than, say, a whopper plopper on top, right? Um, yeah, sure. Just given sure. the behavior. Uh, yeah. Just like I would think with a, a carp pattern swim bait. Uh, but I got to say, those look super sweet. And quite honestly, most of the time, the fish don't pay attention that much to color. So when you're throwing a whopper plopper, I don't think it matters that much. But I think that looks yeah, rad. They're just, they're just looking for that little action on the water, the water ripple and stuff. Yeah. Yep. So last thing that came in uh, that was oh, back ordered. Those are dope. <laughs> these were back ordered from Tackle Warehouse, but were on sale for 10 bucks a pop, dude. And these are the. Jackal rearrange in the 110 size, and um, I don't think I can get it to even make it sound for you. Um, but the the weight transfer system in this thing uh, is oh yeah, kind of it, right. is insane. It's it's magnetized, so it's stuck there. But when you huck the bait out there, I mean it it almost sounds like it's snapping off. Um, the like funk sound that it makes um, and I don't know how well you can see but it's got really flat sides um, so it's got some yeah, wicked bit, right? wicked action and um, it's a damn good looking jerk bait Jackal Jackal makes some really really good stuff and um, so I absolutely and they retail at 15 bucks you know which is expensive let's be honest but me too quite frankly you know and and i've gotten a little bit out of control when it comes to my jerk bait box but um just a little bit 
<laughs> but I've got a couple Vision 110s in there, and um, yeah. and I've got a lot of Lucky Craft baits. So I'm I'm willing to spend that, you know, fifteen dollar price point for a premium jerk bait. It's going to perform just a little bit better and look that much better than you know your standard five to ten dollar jerk bait like a like a kvd or a bomber um uh, you know or a uh fucking a rogue you know something like that that are still really solid jerk baits but um uh, but this re-range is pretty rad and that color there purple chartreuse is called secret shad too i got one more in uh this chrome pattern called the silver shad and um so these are not jdm colors you know i do like to shop on the hookup tackle and carolina fishing tackle or carolina oh carolina they have a they have a bait box right carolina i know who you're talking about i actually won one of their giveaways with the bait box that they sent me a bunch of plastics yeah they've uh they've got some sweet baits i'll since we're live i'm gonna show you guys something that i don't like to post about very often or even mention but i'll i'll let you few people in on it um there's one bait that is a true jdm i got carolina fishing tackle in trouble for posting about this on instagram last year and this is a chatterbait style lure but watch this oh shit it's plastic wow this is a soft blade um That's pretty now z-man's not happy about it z-man's not happy about it because it's got that direct blade to head connection uh -huh. now it is called Keisu tranquil Keisu is a japanese company they don't really sell their stuff here but you can get it through the hookup tackle and through carolina fishing tackle um you can only get this bait from carolina fishing tackle they had to pull it off temporarily after i posted about it and then it's back up you can get them now they're in stock but as you can see 17.99 they're not cheap dude so for a bladed jig it is arguably the most expensive one out there this is a three eighths ounce and it's 18 bucks so it is a little bit more than a jackhammer but it's different dude um, they swim, are they swim the same or is it way different because the plastic or yeah so it's a it's a little bit different but it you still feel a pretty legitimate thump um uh -huh. like it's got the vibration but it doesn't have the sound right so okay okay so um and it's also got this different skirt material um uh -huh. you wouldn't be able to see it but it's it's got more action to it and it's also hand tied like a jackhammer would be, but a uh, little bit higher quality. You know, I'm not sure if you guys have experienced this, but the jackhammer is guilty of not being tied very well. The uh, the skirts are tied with like braid. Um, oh, okay. And so if you can see, like this one looks almost new. Like right, I right. fished this like a, a couple of days and it barely scratched up the, the bottom of the head. Uh, the blade is almost completely intact. Like the paint is, is hardly worn on this and the skirt started just falling apart because the braid that was tied on it was coming undone. Like it was unwrapping. It's not like the skirt had shredded or anything. So I actually just unwrapped it myself and removed the skirt material and I'm going to retie it. So I'm going to make a video on, you know, how to tie your own skirts. And I'm not even sure whether I'm going to use, you know, mono or braid or wire, um, you know, like copper wire to tie that skirt. But I will say that's, it's a pro and a con in the jackhammer is that hand tied skirt. Um, you know, you're paying a premium price and you get good action out of the skirt, but it's not secured super well. So 
I'd almost recommend that you like double tie those, you know, like add some, yeah, some great. I'd rather buy the four dollar one and just go at it with it. Dude, I've, I've still got a handful of new ones. I've got a ass ton of new ones. Oh, yeah. You can see some of these haven't even been used either. I've, you know, right. I've invested in them. Um, that said, I, I play around with Chatterbeats. Um, you know, different brands. Like these are the, the Rage Blades from Strike King. Yeah. Um, I've got a lot of original ones. I've got Project Z's. Um, like the Project Z weedless, um, is something special, dude. I don't know if you use that one. It's like seven or eight bucks. Um, and there's something about a weedless chatterbait that, um, yeah, I've never tried that yet. I mean, I don't know how much you fish chatterbaits, but they just, they have a tendency to want to roll over when they hit cover, especially wood. And it, it's like they just want to snag on wood. So it's, it's a little bit of a dangerous thing. It's fishing a chatterbait around wood. Um, and most guys would just gravitate toward fishing it in grass. But it's such an effective lure in like all conditions and year round that it's probably my go-to bait um along with just like a paddle tail swim bait in the three to five inch range um i would throw that more than anything so um honestly i'm I'm looking for hacks when it comes to to chatter baits and so since i i noticed i took the skirt off of some of these weedless projects these to just take a closer look at where that skirt or where the uh, weed guard is going in and at what angle and I'm going to drill holes in a couple of my jackhammers and some other chatter baits uh, that have lead heads and I'm going to just throw a bunch of strands of like 20 pound fluorocarbon in there and uh, make my own weed guards. Yeah, right, so right, right. speaking of while we're kind of on the topic, um, let me answer two questions on on YouTube. I don't know if Brian, if you're still in here, but you asked, how do you register for the giveaway on Instagram? Uh, is the only way you can enter right now. I did not inform you guys on YouTube. I'm going to start being better about that. Give you a fair chance on YouTube. Uh, post there when I, I put it up on Instagram, but go on, on Instagram and go back to that post. that says 5k giveaway and just give it a like and leave a comment tagging two people and uh, and you're in, dude. And make sure you're following me. You can find me at hooksets.r3. Um, let me know if you have any other questions. And Ryan, uh, you said got to have one. Who are you talking about? The Keisu Tranquil? Keisu. Keisu. K-A-E-S-U. <laughs> you. The bass dock is your stuff I was telling you about, right? Yeah, man. Tell me. I haven't used this in probably two months. What is that? A Gantarel? Uh, no, it's uh, one of my uh, my custom guy made me this. That looks nasty, dude. I have figure eighted a large mouth to bite to bite this. No way, it was, dude. It was. Insane. I couldn't even believe it. I didn't have a GoPro at that time. Okay, so this is clean, right? This I use is like two months. What? Yeah, in like two months. So that I'm scent is doing. still just on there, coated. Still in it. And you can still you smell can the smell. Dude, I tell you, that's probably. Bass Dynasty. Can you get it anywhere other than, say, Tackle Warehouse? Where can you get it? Uh, you can get it from them. Directly from them. Okay. Um, what is it? Catch them all. He catch them all owns that company, right? I'll give you a code for it. Do it. So, send me. So send me a DM. I'll shoot you the code for it. Yeah. And you get a little discount, whatever. Right on. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna head in. Family time. Yep. Good chat with you. You too, man. Send me a DM with that code for Bass Dynasty. Yeah, I will. For sure. Check out the Casey Tranquil from Carolina Fishing Tackle. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to try and get a couple. I think I'll spend a little bit of money. What we're going to talk what about is- now. Oh, jeez. You, okay. you, you got to do family time, but but write this oh, down, too. Right. This is the uh, queen, queen tackle switchblade. All right, man. I'll catch you later. Peace out. Yo, Ryan, and everybody else who's watching on Instagram, this is how you make your own chatterbait. There's going to be a future YouTube video on this. Take your favorite swim jig. This is a light wire swim jig, not one that I would ordinarily do this with. You know, um, give you a couple examples of like what I am going to do it with, and I'm not going to totally give it away right now i'm it, i'm gonna do it in a future video but say pull out a six cents divine swim jig for example who doesn't freaking love this thing nice medium wire medium heavy wire hook with a screw lock keeper great weed guard great details solid skirt awesome eyes and um and it tracks really well in the water column. This is a 3 8 ounce, which is my favorite to have a chatterbait in. What you're gonna do is take the queen tackle switchblade and literally put it on the line tie here and make your own chatterbait. These things are wicked. Um, I only picked up a couple packs of these. This is the regular size. It comes in two sizes, regular and large. And um, And you just open up the, the wire on it, slide it through the line tie, and then close the wire and um, and secure it down. And voila, you can turn any bait you want into a chatterbait. So I'm not totally sure if it works around Z-Man's patent or what, because it's an accessory, not a lure itself. But... I mean, it essentially makes it so that you've got a direct blade to head connection. This is a light wire, quarter ounce, Strike King. Um, I don't know. It's a tour grade swim jig. It's one of my favorite lightweight swim jigs. Um, if I'm fishing super shallow, I will throw this thing often. So this is like the shad color with a black shad Kitek 3.8 on it. Um, absolutely love this thing. It's got a, a light weed guard. And turn this into a chatterbait. And I am very curious to see how this thing fishes. I'll admit I picked it up just over Black Friday. So I haven't had a chance yet to fish them, which is why you don't see me stocked up in all three colors and both sizes. But could be a total game changer so a little bit of a secret there and um and i am excited to give it a whirl so you guys have just gotten two secrets out of me in the last 10 minutes and i probably got to stop spilling the beans on these chatter baits that uh that nobody knows about so ryan Check out the Kesu Tranquil off of Carolina Fishing Tackle. You can get them in quarter ounce, three eighths, half. Um, I don't think they make them in a three quarter, but dude, it's got wicked detail. This is the cobalt gill. It is a straight up Japanese lure. And I should take this trailer off of here. It's a swing impact fat that I've cut the tail off of. And um, so just so you can see, it's got a little bit shorter shank of a hook than, uh, than say, a jackhammer does. The gauge is about the same. And uh, it's a more of a round bend than a... Uh, a straight shank flipping hook but it's a very sharp hook it's got that double wire keeper super high quality skirt 
very nice head and eyes. Paint is impeccable just perfectly with the skirts and uh and that soft blade is very unique. So I'm not gonna talk about it too much. You won't see me posting about it very often on Instagram. I've made one post ever, and like I said, I had to retract a lot of information about it because I got CFT in trouble with Z-Man, who likes to chase everybody down who's infringing on their patent. So, go to, you wanna go live? Take two fishing, you wanna go live? You got a request, I think. You're asking, do I ever use a file to flatten the spot, right? to flat spot the chatter baits to reduce hang up? Um, not even quite sure what you mean. You mean on the bottom of the heads? Um, or what specifically? Flat spot them. Dude, I'll, I would love to take him. No diggity. Take two's got a request going live. I don't think I can uh, pull him in here. Oh, maybe I can. Let's see if he'll come on in, dude. All right. Man, it is such a freaking mess in here. You can talk about soft plastics for a minute if you want. What up, Take Two? How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing quite well. Y'all had, uh, had a pretty good live there. And I just actually jumped on for a brief moment and I thought, well, smack a match. It's definitely good guy to go live with. Yeah, man. I appreciate you hanging out for a minute. Not a problem, man. No diggity's wanting you to go live big time. Yeah, let me throw a little bit more light on in here so I can uh, appear a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I was just wondering, uh, talk to me about that, I think that Japanese, I guess it was Japanese, uh, uh, um, chatterbait that you had. I was kind of interested in that thin blade, uh, smacking bass was saying it's plastic, but it appeared to be like a thin, thinner thin or a thinner metal, the correct that flex, not metal, but rather like a rubbery, um. Uh, yeah, it, is, it is a see-through rubbery not even plastic material dude and, and it is wild um but because they've got that direct blade to head connection z-man is not about that life it's also got the same hexagonal shape which i think is part of the patent uh too so they don't have a way around that and they're not going to bring it here mainstream to the states but um, I was wondering what you mean by filing down chatterbaits to avoid hang up. Um, well, as you said, as you were saying earlier, is that uh, chatterbaits do do tend to roll sometimes. Totally, according to the ledge or to a stump of some sort. Yeah. Um, flat spot the bottom of them, and that kind of actually, when they make that impact, that actually helps keep them right a little bit more straight, and they'll flare out the uh, sure. the bristle. I go right there to hook guard, and that kind of helps with rolling a little bit as well. Interesting. If you, if you think about it, the uh, the hook guard or the brush guard on that thing, when you flare them out, if you actually flare once the bait or once the chatterbait starts rolling to either the left or the right, and then once it hits that 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 guard, yeah, it's actually to kind of go right back in the upper direction. So I actually right there on the bottom. Around the nose area, I'll flat spot that with a file and just put some touch-up paint back on it. And then the guard, I'll flare the bristles out on all my chatter baits. And that seems to help them keep them up right a little bit because once they do hit and fall to the side, sure. if you've got hard by nature, it's going to force them more of an upright back back direction. So I, I, I've saved, I've actually kept a few uh, chatter baits that way. <laughs> that's, a, that's an interesting thought. And that makes me wonder if that's why baits like the the jackhammer and the thunder cricket have flatter bottoms. I thought it was more 
for the ability to skip them under docs and such, but that that is a valid point um, that when you think about one like the Project Z that has a very rounded head yeah. on it, uh, that that's going to uh, almost cause the rolling action. That's so right. That's one of the reasons why I'm staying away from that particular one, because I, I ran into a guy, I went to the uh, East Tennessee Expo, and I talked to a guy up there that uh, that kind of got into the jig chatterbait market. How he had actually streamlined the bottom of his jigs and his chatters when he was making his own jig head specifically for that reason because he kind of he kind of felt as if he he lost more, more he lost more of the competitors jigs and chatters because of that rolling to the side. Now jigs don't necessarily roll to the side as bad. Sure, chatter. To me, it just think. Oh shit! I guess we can only go an hour long live on Instagram. So that just cut off on me, Ryan. Whoever else is watching here on YouTube, sorry that we've been in here for an hour. Man, that's crazy. I didn't realize that. We are hanging out. We've got some good dialogue going with some folks on Instagram right now, though, about chatterbaits um, and how to keep them from, uh, from hanging up quite as much. So we can do a little bit of a review and, um, and wrap this up here in a minute. Sorry about that to everybody on Instagram who's watching. We, um, I'm the dude who commented on the JSR 7s. What up, B West? Join the Trad Raps? Yeah, man. I saw you've got them all. Um, honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring no diggity. No, I, I want to bring uh, take two back in here. Let me. What had happened was, yo, take two. Request to uh, to go live with me real quick. Can't bring you in right now for some reason. Um, leave another comment so I can I can grab you there. But what happened was Instagram. Uh, Instagram cuts you off after going live for an hour, apparently. And that was literally one hour. So. B West need some good winter fishing tips for pond. Sorry about that, man. No, no, no. You, I guess I, you know, you I timed out. I didn't realize there was a, a max one hour live on Instagram. Probably, you know, probably you know, get, out, all your problems on Instagram, and then that's it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so anyway, I you did have a good point there, and you were talking about a buddy and um, and how he hung up more with uh, with competitors. Bladed jigs, but less with Z-Man chatterbaits. Is that right? Yes. Yes. And is that also just due to the head shape, do you think? A lot of Z-Man yeah. chatterbaits, even the cheap ones, do have kind of flatter heads. I think yeah. about it. And I think he kind of, like I said, he got into uh, making his own jig heads and stuff and kind of stole their thunder just a little bit and kind of streamlined it a little bit better. But I actually stole the secret from him about taking my weed guards and flaring them outwards. Since I've done that, I've lost a lot less chatterbaits and uh, jig heads. Yeah, no, and that's that's a great idea. I was gonna say the really the the only reason that I like the Project Z is that there's the weedless version. Uh, there are very few bladed jigs on the market these days that are weedless. I don't. I mean, for whatever reason, they're just they're not made or offered as much. I don't know if you saw me talking to Smacking Bass about how I'm going to convert. A lot of my standard bladed jigs and chatterbaits, and drill holes in them, and put my own weed guards in there. Um, so, so, what size of uh, what size line are you going to use in there for that? Like twenty pound fluoro, I think. Yeah, that'd be a good one. I mean, that one, but you make some Ginzo blades in there, you know. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> but just some Ginzo blades, you know, some of those uh, blades that'll just cut everything down. You know, like the uh, Ginzo knife. I don't know if you remember. I don't. 
a Genzo knife would cut a tin can in half and keep going. So if you put some Genzo blades on the end of a jig head, man, just imagine you could cut everything down. <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally yeah. just plow through the grass. Yeah, well, I, I kind of picked up uh, I picked up on soft, soft plastic baits, and that's how I actually hooked up with the uh, was smacking bass. He uh, he sent me some pictures of some jigs and said, "Hey man, can you uh, you know, can you make a trailer for this? Can you make a trailer for that? Can you make a trailer for this?" And that's that's kind of a it's kind of a difficult thing to be able to match, you know, the jig. But man, I just sure. I love having a trailer. I'm a, I'm a personally I love fishing jigs and chatters. Mm -hmm. But when you have a trailer on there, it's just it just makes it ten times better. I think. But. Um, I got to asking that question about that Ned Swimmer because I actually bought yeah. a, an actual three-inch uh, Ned Swimmer, but it's got the body of a work and the paddle tail of a swimming bait. Sure. And I haven't, I've made them. I'm kind of still trying to perfect the mold, but I hadn't had a chance to uh, to actually put them out on the market just yet. But, man, it just some people I talked to said, man, I'd use that thing on an A-rig, man. It's perfect for an A-rig. But the way the thing's designed, it just seemed like it would be awesome on a net head. I absolutely believe that. Uh, I stand by what I said. I wanted to show you the the Slim Swims from Z-Man are, uh, are a, a paddle tail swim bait, but in a they make them in a two and a half and a three inch size. and um, Oh, maybe this is it right here. So, um, I got these for trout fish. Probably not even going to put it on a net head just because I'll keep it moving um, and won't dead stick it. But um, but it, it's got more of a, a swim bait body than a worm body. But, um, but in general, I think that concept is legitimate. And uh, I think there's a market for it for sure. Um, to rig it like a Ned rig and have the option to have it stand up and fish it just like you would a Ned rig, let it kind of drift around, dead stick it, um, or to swim it low and slow or higher in the water column, do whatever. You, I mean, finesse swim bait and a Ned rig in one, right? I mean, I, I think it's a good idea. So, uh, whatever the body style is, I don't think, um, uh, is is quite as important but um i think having a paddle tail on the end of a ned rig bait is a good idea for sure um that much more than like i you know i posted a picture today of the uh the ned bomb by missile baits which i think is an awesome little lure um, but it's got a spade tail instead of a Let's see if I've got it here. Have you seen the Ned Bomb? So look at this guy. It is a Ned bait, but it's got this super thin, it's not really a paddle tail. It's a, a spade shaped, really thin tail that, uh, that wants to kind of wag and uh, and do its own thing as the bait's just sitting on bottom, but it's not going to do much as you're swimming it unless you have it rigged sideways. It might have a subtle little action to it, but it it's not a paddle tail. And uh, so, you know, it gets you thinking a little bit. I I think you're onto something there, and I I definitely think that's a a good idea having a a swim bait Ned bait. Um, you know, everybody's putting Ned baits out there at an incredibly fast rate. And um, so you might as well sooner than later because someone's going to do it if they haven't already. Right. I mean, right. this Six Sense Ned Fry, um, you know, Six Sense exploded onto the scene with their soft plastics this last year. And um, they're pretty legit. This is a four and a half inch Ned rig bait. I, I don't even technically call it a ned rig bait uh because it because honestly it, like it would make a good wacky rig bait but more appropriately i think this is like a hybrid between a nico rig bait put a nail weight in the bottom there 
because it stands up, it's buoyant, right? So either a Nico rig it or chop it down, and then you've got a Ned rig bait at three inches. So this little guy is sneaky, um, and I just recently picked it up. Haven't fished it yet, but um, yeah, man, I'm a sucker. So if, if you make that sooner than later, I'll probably scoop some up from you since it's not really a, uh, a thing. But anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll Pictures and send you, send you a free sample. How about that? Right on. <laughs> yeah. I'll, uh, I'll do it however you want, man. So, I looked at your very nice page you got there, very professional. Uh, like how you've got your, uh, your items posted there on Instagram. I hopped over to uh, YouTube for a brief second and checked you out there going live. I think it's uh, definitely sharp, definitely cool. First time I've ever talked to you. Uh, Appreciate I you. like the that you've got in the back there. Uh, that's pretty impressive as well. And I've enjoyed talking to you. Um, man, I tell you what, I'll be sure to uh, mention you on my page and uh, give you a follow as well, and I appreciate the time. Right back at you. What's your name, sir? My name's William. William? My name's Tyler. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you for going live for a few minutes. Hope you have a good rest of your night. And uh, everybody else that's uh, tuning in, y'all have a great night. Uh, oh, shoot, man, you're cutting out. Right on, really nice guy there. So we are an hour and 11 minutes into this live stream. You're right, Ryan, time does fly. When you're talking baits, when you're having fun, just chilling. I missed my alarm, take my medication, which I need to go do. So I'm gonna run upstairs, wrap this up in a minute. Here's a topic for next time. Um, balsa wood crankbaits today i posted a a post on the rapala jointed shad wrap pretty sweet cold water bait how about the dt series dt6 dt4 man dt4's got a pretty substantial rattle in the dt6 has a really subtle knock to it. These guys are wicked. And they're not that expensive either. So for a super high quality, high floating crankbait in cold water, really, really recommend the Rapala DT4 and 6 especially. Shallow water cranking in cold water. Um, Anyway, we've talked about Ned Rigs, we've talked about chatter baits, we've talked about swim baits just a little bit because I got that DBZ1 6 inch, which I'll show you one more time. For those of you who might not have been in here the first time around, gorgeous, gorgeous 6 inch swim bait, blueback herring color, clear tail, and two. Ouch! Of the Jackal Rerange 110 jerk baits, as I always tend to do, got one in the more clear water type of color. This is a purple and chartreuse. It's called Secret Shad 2, and one in a chrome style pattern. This in the silver shad. Look at that thing. The Rerange is known to put off more flash than the majority of jerk baits on the market, and this guy right here is going to rip. So, um, yeah, got to find room in the box or get a new box for these jerk baits. It's getting a little bit crowded. So, anyway, that is going to do it for tonight's video. Thank you to everybody who tuned in. Sorry to those of you who just jumped in. Dylan, Third Eye Boogie um, on Instagram. I might leave you guys on if you want to. Uh... Hank Stamper, don't forget to medicate. Yeah, man. Don't want to have another seizure like I had four months ago. Um, I'd love to medicate in other ways, but um, not on that game anymore these days. So, Ryan, anybody else who's watching on YouTube, looks like there's four of you. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up. Do me that solid. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight, watching. It's been a fun time. Um, I will 
All right, get on Instagram, dude. Give me a follow. Give yourself a chance to win one of these giveaways. So, hope you guys have a good rest of your night. I will see you in the next one. No problem. No diggity. No problem. Cheers. Have a great rest of your night.